Hey folks and welcome to the channel. My name is Yanis and you're watching My Tech Corner. If it's your first time here, don't be a stranger. Hit that subscribe button so you don't miss some upcoming videos. In today's video, we're going to see how we can update our GoPro. There are a couple of ways you can update your GoPro, manually and with the app. You can update manually by using a computer, going to GoPro's website, downloading the latest software onto your computer, then transferring it into a micro SD card, insert your micro SD card in your GoPro, open the camera, and it will automatically detect the update and the process will begin. But this method is a bit more complicated and time consuming. It's much easier with a quick app. Once GoPro releases a new update for your camera and you connect your camera to the app on your phone or tablet, you will get notified that there is an update for it and you can do it through the app much easier and much faster than the manual update. So on March 14, GoPro released firmware version 2.10 for the GoPro Hero 11. Now this version has a couple of important fixes. The first one is for exposure select and exposure lock. Doesn't function properly. So what this means is when you're using the exposure lock function, sometimes it may not be locking properly or staying locked or may not be selecting or adjusting the exposure. The second fix relates to the Volta. So when you were using your GoPro with a Volta and without a battery inserted, there were multiple glitches and issues that would happen if you didn't have a battery inserted in your GoPro. This update fixes that. The third and final fix is general bug fixes and user interface improvements. This is a typical phrase in a lot of GoPro firmware updates. And in my opinion, this fixes a lot of small things that you don't really see or even have ever noticed for a more stable and better camera. So let's jump in and do the update together by using the app. Open the app in your device, open your GoPro and make sure you have wireless connections turned on so you can connect it to your phone or tablet. Once connected, you will see that there is an update. Click install update and this page will show you what the update includes. Press update, accept the legal disclaimer and continue. Join the camera to the app and the update will begin. Let it do its thing and we're set to go. Well, that's all for today's video. If you found this video useful and helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on new videos to come. Thanks for watching.